Tchou. Our next two talks are open stage talks. They're five minutes each, and they're related to the same, uh, the same project, the same kind of data. Our first speaker is Benjamin Wiedeker. He's a user experience designer who specializes in data visualization. He is the founding partner and managing director of a Zurich-based company called Interactive Things. They design and build interactive products and information visualization for big clients in education, government, uh, publishing, communications. He also publishes a website, datavisualization.ch, one of the leading uh, data visualization sites here in Switzerland. Please help me welcome to the stage, Benjamin Wiedeker. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> the goal of the Will Vision, uh, Will We Want project was to represent the city as a living, breathing, vibrating place where people come together, interact with each other, and eventually part again. The city of Geneva, Lyft Conference, the Near Future Lab, and Swisscom pursued this vision by using mobile data as an indicator for urban flows. To communicate their findings back to the people of Geneva, they turned to us, Interactive Things, to help them come, make the vision come to life. Interactive Things is a design company, as mentioned before, that I founded two years ago with four friends of mine. We're um, all interaction designers and really passionate about great user experience and engaging data visualizations. As you know, data in its raw form is far, far away from being a beautiful, um, living thing. So we ask ourselves, how can we breathe in some charm and some elegance into this pile of data? To answer this question, we really looked at the aesthetics and the behavior of living forms on multiple scales. Based on this collection, we were then able to distill as a set of design patterns that we used to convey the notions of growth, interaction, dynamics, app, and flow. With these patterns, we started exploring the data and experimenting with different ways to communicate the embedded stories. And what you see here are just a few of the many, many failures that happen along the way. But eventually, we were then able to define the strategy with two real simple principles. One, that we would try to engage people and get attention with emotions. And two, that we can provide insights through storytelling. And this then is represented on two different medias. So we have on one hand an abstract yet eye-catching projection. And on the other hand, we have a series of posters that tell real specific stories about the city of Geneva. Over the next few days, whenever you have the time, and you walk from the main station of Geneva down to the lake, you will encounter the series of posters that allow you to dive deep into this data. You could have a look at the interaction and the movement between different districts of the city. You could have a look at the districts and their activity over the course of a full day. Or you could have a look at the collective activity of the city of Geneva over the course of a full week. Or you can also have a look at when people are traveling into the center of Geneva and when they are traveling to the periphery. But most importantly, we hope you get some joy out of the dynamic visualization of people's movements.
Thank you so much. Thanks. We just have one question. Um, what, how did it all work with the different players? So you got data from Swisscom, sponsoring Ville de Genève, Lyft involved, you guys designed it. Explain that, just give some context to us. Okay. So um, I think the first stage was when Swisscom and the Near Future Lab collaborated to make an analysis of this data that we've just shown. Um, as a second step, then there was the concept between uh, the city of Geneva and Lyft um, to show the findings to the people of Geneva. And that's what, that was the point where um, we got asked to like, create a public-facing interface to this data. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks.